Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. I was going to shoot another video for you guys for the custom equipment series, and today we're going to do a video on gravel probe. So if you come out here and you are going to plan on digging a hole, it really doesn't make sense to come out and just dig a hole. Uh, if you look at if you look into like gold prospecting and stuff like that, where these big companies are going in, they don't just go out and put holes in the ground hoping there's gold there. If you're going to put that much effort in, you need to know what you're going after. So, that being said, when you come out here, if you plan to dig a hole, and you're going to go down and try and find some of the concentrated gravel. Um, you need to know, for number one, that it's there, and it's a good idea to know why it's there or anything like that. So, um, you find out that it's there by using one of these. It's called a gravel probe. And uh, there are a few things about a probe that... Uh, are kind of good information I would say as far as safety this is a stainless steel probe so it's it's pretty uh, pretty good you know it's it's good and slick and everything it'll slide down easy but safety wise this has got a welded on handle so that's pretty that's a pretty important part because when you're using a probe and you're pushing this thing down in the ground if I can find a spot without a rock when you start putting weight on that probe, if that weld isn't very good, then if this handle comes off, that's a recipe for getting impaled. You really don't want that to happen out here. You don't want it to happen anywhere, but uh, if that weld were to come loose, um, it would make for a pretty bad day. So having that welded T-handle on there is a pretty good deal. I've got a couple of them that are not stainless that actually have a pipe where it's actually drilled and set in on that and then it's welded around the edge so I, you know it's got a little bit bigger handle it's a little easier on your hands but they're not stainless and they don't slide into the ground as well um, this probe is actually kind of a special probe I've been told it's a magic probe um, the guy that gave it to me um, has found upwards of 2,000 diamonds he said this probe is responsible for about 800 not all his, he said he had some guys he was digging with at one point and he was using this. This was a much longer probe. This actually began as a 12 foot probe and it's been cut in half. And uh, he gave me the, the business end of it. So he said this probe itself has, has been responsible for about 800 diamonds found out here. So I think that's pretty cool. He said it's magic. He said you could pretty much tell and you're gonna get into diamonds um, by this probe. So uh, yeah, that's pretty neat. Anyhow, um, on with the story here. So. Another important thing about a probe is length. Um, you can kind of equate the length of your probe to depth of gravel, obviously, um, and how much time you plan to dig. The rules of the park say that if you're going to dig a hole, you've got to have that thing, you know, for the depth you dig, it's got to be the right slope on the sides and everything like that. So that's a lot of dirt moving if you get down there five, six, seven foot deep. You're talking about a hole that's probably going to be 15, 18, 20 feet across at the top. That's that's a lot of dirt. So, I mean, you're talking about team digging more than likely if you go over six feet. So, if you got a six-foot probe like this and you get all the way down to the handle before you start hitting the gravel you think you want to go after, it means you're going to have to have a hole that's 18 feet wide on the top stepped as you go down. And then once you get to that gravel at six feet, if, that's a, if that gravel is a foot thick, now you're adding another seven feet, that means another three feet of width on the top of your hole. So, something to keep in mind is if you really need a probe that's any longer than five, six, seven feet. Now, you know, if you've got a probe that's seven feet, that doesn't mean you have to go down seven feet with it. You know, you might find gravel at three feet or four feet. You know, so I mean, that's not too bad a hole. One person could probably handle that. Um, it may be tough for somebody that's not used to digging, but it can be done. Uh, I normally don't dig out here. Um, for me, that's a lot of work. I mean, the diamonds, there's still some on the surface. And some of the surface material uh, is, is loaded with diamonds. You just got to know what to do to get it, to harvest it, how to work it. Uh, anyhow, um, I've got other videos about that. The, uh, back to the probe, this is a tool that, uh, you know, you'll see a lot of the guys that come out here and dig, and uh, some of these other YouTubers have got uh, hole digging videos, and they show their probing gravel and I've got a couple videos where I probed some gravel and dug so um, 
this is usually a sign that somebody's going to get pretty serious when they show up with one. So anyhow, the length of your probe, that's something to kind of keep in mind. If you've got a four foot probe or a five foot probe, you can probe down. And if you, if you think there's gravel where you're at for some reason, you can probe down. If you can't hit it, you dig a few feet out and then you probe in the bottom of that hole that you just dug and that gets you down to six feet. So nothing says you've got to have a humongous probe out here. Um, the other thing about a probe, this is stainless. It looks like it's about three eighths. Um, I wouldn't go any bigger than half inch on the stock that you use if you make one. You know, a machine shop could probably make you a pretty good one. Um, this is, you know, it's it's a little bit limber, but it's not bad. You know, as long as you just don't double this thing in half when you're trying to push it into the ground, it's uh, works pretty good. And like I said, it's stainless, so it slides easily. But the key to that is you want a head on the end of it. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So we'll get up here and you can see this has got a bulged head on it. That's pretty important because what this does is you're driving this bullet tip into the ground. That head is going to spread the width of that hole out and you don't actually rub the ground with this as it's going in. Now this has got a little bit of a bend in it, but uh, not enough to really hurt anything. If you got a probe that does not have a head on it, then the sides of that probe are gonna rub as you're going down through the dirt, make it just a little bit harder to push in. So having that head on there is really important. Um, doesn't really matter, I don't think it matters how sharp it is. I've heard of guys putting a BB on the end of that. Don't know if it helps or not, but uh, having that head is kind of a key thing to one of these probes. So at some point in the future, I'm probably going to make a video on probing for gravel. I've actually, I've probably got some old footage that I may put a, put a, a short video together to link to this one. And I'll put a, I'll put a link across the top of the screen over here. If I've got that video by the time this one comes out, um, you don't just shove this thing in the ground and hope for the best. You know, you kind of got to know what to feel for and listen for and stuff like that. So anyhow, so I think that uh, pretty well sums up this video for a uh, gravel probe so if you guys got any questions or comments just leave it in the comment section below and thank you for watching